we post a picture on Instagram and then every now and then, let's say every five minutes, we keep refreshing our page and keep checking if there was any like or if there was any comment on our picture. Why do we do that? To see the validation, to see if people have been liking our picture or to see if people have been criticizing on your picture. How am I looking? If you're a man, if you're bodybuilding, how my uh, biceps are looking? Or if you're a girl, people, uh, you are be looking at if I'm looking good enough, if I'm, if I'm looking slim enough or if the dress is looking good enough on me. Why? Because we want to validate on everything we do. Now, this is a very small situation or very small picture in your life of just us posting a picture on Instagram or Facebook or writing something on Twitter. Think of a bigger picture. Think of your own goal or your passion. You're doing something in your life. You want, again, you want validation from the world, from the people around you, from your family, from your friends. And if they start criticizing you, if they start laughing at you and mocking on your goals or on your passion, what happens? You get discouraged. You start thinking, if I, what I'm doing or the goals which I'm trying to pursue, is it good enough? Or my passion, is that passion good enough? Why is that? Because we need validation. And why do you want validate? Yes, that is my question. Why do you want to get a validation? If your goal is good, if your goal is, if you, if you know that what you're trying to chase, you're trying to chase your dream, is good for you and your family why do you need a validation from the people they they don't live your dream or they're not living your life you are living your life and you are living your passion and your dream stand why do you want to get validation from the people now if i give you my own example when i chose when i decided to go for the competition and do a competition in bodybuilding if you haven't seen my transformation video i'll post the link uh, below in the description box you can go and check how i transform myself uh, uh, for the bodybuilding competition uh, when i decided to chose to do the bodybuilding competition there were people laughing at me there were people mocking at me and many of them has made fun of me and has laughed at me but i didn't listen to any one of them in fact one day i went to one of my friends he's a very old and good friend of mine and as uh, supposedly he's a personal trainer as well so i asked him that i'm doing this competition and if you can advise me on something or if you can guide me in the right direction guess what he said he said first of all he started laughing at me looking at my body he was laughing that am i really serious am i really interested in going for bodybuilding competition because honestly speaking i was fat and I would definitely recommend to go in the description box and click on the link and check my transformation video. How I started, not I'm trying to blow my own trumpet, but what I'm trying to explain is even I was not that good enough or I wasn't at that level. Still, I chose to do that because it was a burning desire inside me and I actually wanted to face the stage and I actually wanted to be on that stage. It was kind of a fear to me. So I actually decided I want to go and face my fears. So when I asked my friend, he was actually laughing at me. And then he gave me the best advice anyone could give you in the world. He said, dude, you know what? Just go home, eat, train and sleep. Yes, that's what he said. He said, eat, train and sleep. Now, this is not a rocket science. Even if you're not from the bodybuilding field or if you're not from the fitness field, you still know, you should know that if you want to build a body, if you want to do competition, whatever, you still need to eat properly, train properly and get good dress. Because now this was not something, a magical word I ever heard in my life. But that's the advice he gave me because he thought this fat dude, he's not going to do anything. Why waste my time? So that's the advice he gave. And I kept that advice. I trained my ass off. I ate properly. I ate the boiled food for six months and I take... I took rest enough so that my body develops and my body grows. It's not about myself. I'm just giving an example that if you want to do something in life, if your goals are big enough and if you are crazy about your passion, do not listen to anyone. I'll give you, I explain you this thing in a very simple and sweet story. There were two frogs, okay? Best friends, they were trying to play themselves in a nice rainy day, dark and rainy day. While playing, they jumped into a puddle because they were having a laugh, they were having fun. They jumped into a puddle and uh, they got caught into the puddle. So they were trying to 
bring themselves out of the puddle and trying to save their life. Now, initially, when they were trying to hustle and trying to jump out of that puddle, there were other frogs right standing on the top. They started laughing at them. They started telling them that, why do you have to jump inside? You don't know. It's a deep puddle. There is a mud inside and you're gonna not going to be able to come out. So they were laughing at them. And then they started mocking at them that, why do you have to do that? That's what actually happens in life, right? People are laughing at you when you're trying to do something. And same was happening with those two frogs as well. So the other frogs, they were laughing at them. And then they initially start, then they eventually started telling them, they gave them, start giving them advice that you're not able to gonna do it. So just give up, just give up. And basically they're trying to tell them, die inside. Don't try, don't try and save your life, just die. So both the frogs initially were trying to hustle and trying to come out but listening to them one frog that really discouraged he thought yes actually they are right i'm not able to save myself i'm gonna die so eventually stop trying and he gave up his life and he dies but whereas the other frog he keeps trying harder as as much as they're telling him to give up to stop trying because he's not able to he's not gonna make it he keeps trying harder and harder and harder he tries to jump more higher and eventually surprisingly he comes out and he saves his life yes he comes out of the puddle he saves his life now even after that those frogs are not happy so now they're asking him that how did you manage to do it whereas we were trying to discourage you we were trying to diss you we were laughing at you and actually we were telling you to stop trying how did you manage to do this how did you manage to come out this will happen this is actually what happens in life guys right when you are trying to do something people are laughing at you and you when you make it again they're asking the question they're doubting you how do you manage to do this that's what actually happens in life so those frogs are asking them asking him that how did you manage to come and he very innocently said that sorry guys i didn't knew that you are laughing at me and you're trying to discourage me from your action and your expression, I thought you are trying to encourage me and you're trying to tell me that push harder, push harder, jump higher. And that's what I did. I jumped higher. I didn't listen to you. I was not listening to you guys because I was very focused on saving my own life. Now, this is what actually you need to do, guys. If you have a goal, if you have a passion, which is hard enough, you have to try harder. You have to be deaf. You have to be deaf. Just be immune to these people don't listen to them just be so obsessed with your goals or so obsessed with your aim and your dreams and your passion that when they are laughing at you you take that criticism as your fuel and motivate yourself and try harder that is only way to succeed in life that's the only way to do something which which in in the common world is called unconventional when you are trying to do something unconventional people will be laughing at you people will be mocking at you but if you are passionate enough if you want to do something in life and if you know if you have full faith that what i'm trying to do is right then keep doing don't listen to them just you have to be deaf like this frog and take their criticism as your motivation and jump higher and one fine day you will come out of the puddle of your life and you will able to make it now just before going i'll say one simple thing that don't give up when it's hurting repeat again don't give up when it's hurting give up when you are done hey guys if you like the video hit the like button below comment and please subscribe i'm gonna see you in my next video